Hey everyone, so this is the second video of just looking at some new six stop material. These videos come from Hugo King Frets and they're shot on the Canda Obsidian using their newer depth algorithm. And I think they look pretty great. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So this is at a Renaissance Fair. And you can see we have a falcon and a falconer here. Um, you can see this fence here looks really nice. Let me go ahead and put it on loop. This fence looks great. I mean, really straight. Really, really perfect, actually. I mean, I guess not perfect, but very good. Um, all the tents over there look great. The very distance looks good. I'll go ahead and move out here so you can take a look at the whole thing, sort of top down. Very cool. Do point cloud mode real quick. I mean, you know, this basket here with the greens in it, and we can even go into the tent here. Super cool. We'll stay in point cloud mode and start up the next video. So here we've got some carpentry going on. We've got a cart here and smoothing out some wood here. So I mean this thing is curved here. I think that's just because how close. Actually no, I think that's just the wind. So that's really great. It might be a little warped just from the distance of the camera, but super cool. Everything over here looks great. I'm running these at actually half the resolution just so that my video capture won't um, chug along. So these actually look even better um, from their source material. And of course the very source material is 6 or 8K. Super cool. Let's go ahead and look at displacement mode real quick. Really great. How about some lighting? Okay, let's load up the other next video. This one's called Cottage Exterior, and again, looks great. This fence is nice and straight. I mean, you can even see the, the bars here are separate from the rest of the fence. We've got a picket fence there, it's also very straight, looks great. Some people walking up over here, walking away. There's a cottage in the distance that looks great. And the house here looks fantastic. We can even go in the door here a little bit. Even the, the flowers. The flowers moving around in the breeze, and the plants over here. And this little garden over here. Very cool, very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look from the top down. And we'll do point cloud mode. You can see how far back it goes into the distance there in the house. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, reset and open up the next video. Go ahead and go to displacement mode. <laughs> I like the lady in the Renaissance outfit controlling the mixer. That's fun. It's really cool.
Very cool. Um, okay, next video. This one's called Horse Close. Oh, and there's the horse, and he's very close. See the camera here looks good. Again, this whole setup looks good. All the people watching look great. And the horses. Let's do a point cloud mode real quick. Kind of get eye level with the night over here. Okay, now let's go ahead and reset everything, go back to displacement mode, and then open up the next video. This one's called Horse Waiting. See all the horses look very good. Then we go top down here. Field looks very nice. The distance looks pretty good. Not a lot of depth in this one aside from the horses, but and maybe some of the trees, but again, all looks good. Reset, go to point cloud real quick. Whoops, that was weird. Just lost tracking for a second. Okay. Go ahead and reset and go to displacement mode and open up the next video. This one's called House Interior. This one's a little more warped than the other ones, especially stuff close to the camera over here. It's a little curvy. Actually, that's not that close to the camera. It feels a little curvier than the other ones. You can kind of see what I'm talking about there. But bed looks good. And again, the general shape of the room, pretty nice. Go ahead and reset everything. Let me where camera is. It looks pretty good. Let's do uh, some lighting in this one. Very nice. Let's give it a more of a nighttime feel. Okay. And let's open up the next video. So this video is called Large House Exterior. You can see we've got a medieval looking house here. You can go through this little passageway. See so what it looks like in point cloud mode real quick. Back to displacement. So we've got one artifact right there. It looks like it's from a lens flare. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so now the next video is called Old cart shed. There's our old cart and our shed. See there's a person down the street there. The street looks very good. Cart looks pretty good. Shed looks pretty good. Tree. The way, way distance over there, you can see there's a house down this path. Very cool. Okay, this one's called Walk Past Close. So we've got a bunch of knights here. 
This is a very, very cool one. So let's go ahead and stand in the way of some of these guys. You can see they warp when they get close to the camera. It happens more on this side than that side. That's interesting. Got one uh, depth error here, probably from a uh, lens flare again, maybe. Let's go ahead and look at point cloud mode. Again, all of these videos have been shot in the Canda Obsidian, and they were stitched, and the depth maps were created in Candel Studio. Okay, let's go ahead and reset. Watch people walk through the menu, that's fun. <laughs> so this is the last video, and it's called Jester in Woodland. You can see here's our jester, and here are our woods. We've got a bit of a crowd here. Some small errors here and there, but overall very good. That's a cute dog. Go ahead and take a look from the top down. Let's do some lighting. The flashlight. First, let's change the color back. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll take a look at some GoPro Odyssey footage that we shot a long time ago that we've re-stitched with Google Jump using the new high-quality stitching option, which also improves the depth map quality. And then I'll compare them with the old videos and see how much of an improvement there's been. All right, subscribe if you're into this stuff, and leave a comment below if you have anything to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.